Hello everyone, today I'm going to talk about feed by hemimelia imaging. Feed by hemimelia is a congenital low-volume anomaly characterized by partial or complete absence of the fibula and include a spectrum ranging from mild fibular hypoplasia to complete fibular aplasia. Model rare in occurrence, it is the most common congenital absence of long bone of the extremity. The incident has been suggested to be approximately 5.7 to 20 cases per million birds. This condition is twice as common in boy as in girl. Fibula hemophilia is usually an isolated anomaly and occurs sporadically. However, it can be associated with proximal or called femoral deficiency, absence of lateral ray and phalanges of lateral toe. Syndactyly and polydactyly. Fibula hemophilia is usually obvious at birth with limb shortening and limb length discrepancy. Syndactyly, oligodactyly, or polydactyly may also be present. It may also be detected and Tenetally during obstetric ultrasound evaluation for fetal anomaly. Several theories have been put forward to explain this condition, such as the fact in the apical ectoderm rib or the fact secondary to an absent anterior tibial artery, amniotic band may be the factor causing insult to the growing limb root in utero resulting in this condition. There has been a case of congenital absence of femia and feeble hemimelia related to maternal hyperpyrexia. One of the common use classification for fibula hemimelia is that of extermen and calamachi AR, which divide the condition into two types. Type 1, minimal hypoplasia of the fibula. Type 2, complete absence of the fibula. Absence of the fibula need to be seen on both frontal and lateral arthropod, as the fibula may be made masked by tibia in one view. Shortening of the femia, lateral ray malformation. So this is the case. So the left fibula is absent. The tibia is shortened and bow with abnormal distal growth plate and talus feature adults or fibula hemiphilia. This full leg length is the of the of your name and so. The short and array tibia with abnormal root and absent fibula, which are consistent with fibula hemimelia. Antenna tap of the sound. Unilateral short, no limb. It's non, non visualization of two bone in the leg region. An associated short, the short female may be seen in case of proximal femoral 
This is a, a sample of fibula hemiphilia associated with proximal focal femoral deficiency. CT, absent of the fibula, absent of malformation of the lateral ray, there may be syndactyly and polydactyly. A 3D study required for the assessment of limb length discrepancy and planning of surgery management. So this is an example of bilateral fibula hemiphilia type 2. Abnormal remodeling of lower end of post femur, complete absence of post femur, abnormal bone remodeling of the upper end of the right tibia with plastic post knee joint. Come on, demonstrate the same feature as plan algebra from CT. Additional pseudo atrocis of the female may be assessed in case of proximal femoral focal deficiency. Assessment of muscle bone and echinacea. So these are my image from A to C of the left lower extreme, which is in the patient with fever and urine, so that the virus originate in the supra malarious region. Treatment and prognosis. The management is mainly surgical and include limb lengthening procedures such as unizero technique or amputation with a prosthesis. Residual deformity and disability is common. Thank you.